Hi guys, James from Twisted Assisted here. Uh, I'm just here to announce that Twisted Assisted have collaborated with Best Tech again, and we're pleased to bring you the Beehive Double Detent Front Flipper. That's UK legal, it's sub three inch, non-locking. I thought I'd do, this knife is going to be reviewed um, by independent reviewers on YouTube, but I thought I'd just do a little comparison video. On the left hand side, we have the Beehive Liner Lock, which I picked up from Best Tech at the 2023 Blade Show in Atlanta. And I just thought it's not going to be applicable to that many people. I don't know how many people own the Liner Lock version in the UK. But I thought I'd just like to point out the differences, the subtle differences between the exclusive Twisted Assisted version and the liner lock. So firstly, the Beehive version, you can see there is a liner lock in there. And with the Twisted Assisted version, it's a double detent. So there is no lock whatsoever on that. It does have a generous finger choil here so that when you're holding it, it's very, very safe and unlikely to close on you if you're gripping it firmly with your index finger. One of the other main differences is that with the liner lock version, you can see here that there is a backspacer we have elected to get rid of the backspacer and just have a standoff there at the bottom. But not only that, we requested that Ostap Hell, the designer, um, incorporate a lanyard pin in there because I'm a great believer that people should at least have the option to decide whether or not they have a lanyard when they carry. Now I'm anticipating that our customers are beginning going to be carrying these a lot and having a lanyard just makes it easier to lay your hands on it's safer um, for pulling out the knife out of your pockets so that is another main difference between the two i quite like that it's open at the back here having a backspacer means that pocket fluff and dust will collect so you'll be forever cleaning it uh, whereas with our version just a cotton bud without disassembling the knife, you can just run it through. Now the Beehive is part of the Ostap Hell bouquet range, which are all named after flowers. The tulip that we do also have a, an exclusive UK legal version of, that is also part of the bouquet range. So it's nice to um, continue on with some of those models from, from Ostap's range. Now, um, I'd just like to show you how to strip the knife. It's very similar to the twisted uh, tulip in, in many ways. Um, and you are going to require a T8 and a T6 torque spit in order to complete the operation. At this time, we are not selling spare scales to the Beehive. Um, that might change in the future, but if you want one with titanium handles, then buy one with titanium handles. If you want the carbon fiber one, buy the carbon fiber one, and so on and so forth. We've got copper, brass, titanium, carbon fiber, and a range of colors of G10. The blade is available in either satin or black. So we're going to start off. What have we got here? We've got a T6. There are two retaining screws that hold the pocket clip in. The top screw is slightly longer because it in turn goes into the standoff. So always remember to keep the slight, slightly longer countersunk screw at the top, okay? The G10 model comes with um, a steel pocket clip if you go for the titanium or one of the premium other premium metal ones you are going to have a titanium clip all right so we're going to swap out for the t8 for the pivot here we go and 
that is it folks that is all you need to strip this knife down as you can see it is very very similar indeed to the tulip the inside of the scales have been milled out and the liners stainless steel liners sit in there there's your double detent one one half of it anyway and the screw that goes into the other side of, a st uh, of the standoff is just one of these dome headed ones. Let's reassemble it all back together. Another little nice finishing touch is this brass colored um, stainless steel cup, like a screw cup, which the pivot just sits in there. It's just a nice little detail there. It's not really doing anything other than being decorative. So once you've inserted your liner back inside, put your standoff on, just literally hold it in place with your thumb, swap out to T6, here we go, and we'll just pop that in there like so. Screw that in. Okay, now time to insert the female pivot. There we go. And now's a good time also to put in your caged ball bearing. Make sure you get it the right way around so that it's closed on that side, the, the side that's facing the knife blade. Now's also a good time to put in your lanyard pin as well so the lanyard pin and the standoff are next to one another as you can see there's an internal stop for holding the blade open for stopping it like so and that is concealed it's an internal one and then we just press down the liner slide that across locate it into the holes and it's just a case of putting the other half of the scales on start off with just putting your male side of the pivot in and you've got your t8 bit ready there to give it a tighten up okay then we've got the pocket clip Start off with a slightly longer countersunk screw. In it goes. And then finally the slightly shorter bottom. In there. As I say, we've got two different blade finishes. We've got the satin and then we've got the black PVD coated smooth as butter out of the box there we have it also another subtle difference is is that we've got our twisted assisted logo on the pocket clip there which you won't have with the liner lock version i hope you all enjoy the beehive they are available now on our site www.twistedassisted.co.uk I hope you found this video interesting and thank you for all your support.